Hi there, how you doing? Today's issue is going to be my son's car. He has a 2007 Renault Clio 1.2 16 valve campus iMusic. And recently I've had a couple of neighbours come to me during the day, probably two weeks apart, and say, Mark, your uh, emergency, your, your hazards are going on your son's car. So the first time it happened, I went out, I went in the car, I pressed the hazards warning light switch and nothing happened, the, the lights were still going. So I had to use the uh, fob on my son's car, press that and they went off. So I went, thought they were fine, maybe activated by a car going past, not too sure. And then about two weeks later, same thing happened, the neighbor came the door, Mark, your lights are going off, went out, checked and I couldn't use the fob. I had to go in uh, through the passenger door um, and couldn't press the button off. What I had to do was take the switch out. In fact, what I had to do was take the fuse out uh, and the battery was flat as well. I just couldn't, although the indicators were going, I couldn't start the car. I couldn't turn the engine over. So not understanding what was going on. Uh, I knew if I took the fuse out for the hazard wall lights, it wouldn't happen again. I did that, I recharged the battery, I put it back in and then I went online to look at what could be the problem. And one young chap whose uh, video I looked at gave me an idea. I went along, had a look at it, and straight away found out the floor. The floor is with the actual switch itself. Now, on the broken switch, although you can hear it click, if you look at the gray section, you can see it moving, but when it clicks, it goes back to its normal position. If you look at this one, and I do it, it stops halfway. So that showed that there was a problem with this. This cost about five pound off at eBay. So I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna go out to the car. I'm gonna show you what the initial problem was. Then we'll put this in and see if it works. So just if you're wondering, this is where the, the fuse is there. Passing the door, little tab, lift it up, take it out. And this one here, the 15 out one, that is your indicator uh, fuse. Right, so to get this out, I'll show you what you do. First of all, you have to take out this radio. Right, so to remove this radio, you have to use one of these. I've only got one, but you should have two. All you do is you put it into the holes and then you pull it. And then I'll do it on the other side. Just, you just move it inside, it takes a grip and friction allows you to pull it. And that's it, and then you can just pull out the radio. This is just sitting loosely, so if you just work this out, you will get access to this, which would sit in here like that. And that's how it is when you find it. And all you've got to do is put your finger in here underneath and just force it forward. And it will shoot out. And the way you force it forward is these little plastic clips here are spring loaded. And with it being serrated on here, that's what holds it in. It's then connected to your hazard warning switch, like so. So if I put this on, let's see if the hazard lights come on. No, they haven't, they haven't come on. Well, actually, in fact, they have. Look at the dash. So they've come on, but this isn't flashing. We'll quickly go out and have a look at the, the lights in the car. So just by putting in this faulty switch, which I can't turn off, the indicators are on, or the hazards are on. If I unplug it, that's them off. If 
if I get the new one, which you know it's new, because the little grey areas stop halfway down when you hear the click. Right, I'll, I'll show you. And the actual lights working on the on the switch. The light on this switch wasn't illuminating and this one does so when the fuse the little micro light in here goes that's what's probably made it go all wonky so what i have effectively done is stop my car or stop my son's car from killing its battery by a stupid switch that's gone faulty and that's as simple as that so just to put it into place permanently we just pull it out just fiddle the the switch through the hole okay and then connect connect your switch up right way around push it in double check lights coming on here lights coming on the dash turn it off lights are off there lights are off the dash that should be it fixed then all you do is you put the radio back in and that's it so if you thought the video was any use to you uh, please give me a thumbs up if you want you can subscribe but when i upload more videos um, you'll be notified after you've hit that notification bell other than that thanks for watching me take care